What's up guys? Good morning. Today is a new day. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you guys are working towards your goals, being productive, and absolutely 100% freaking crushing it. You better be. I'm looking at you right there in the back, back left corner. Oh, man, I think I'm going to start the uh, I'm going to start the video outside here. There-ish. Man, I'm learning so much about cameras. And then we want to bump that one up too, right? To an 11. Ah, okay, now we can change the shutter back. All right, here we go. Wait. Is that, is that good? Should I down or up? Up so you can see me? Anyways, well, I, we'll just go with this. Okay, we are recording. I am out front of my house right now. I am dying of heat. My bro is just coming home. He's almost here, but this is uh, the start of the vlog right here. And uh, like I said, I just got cooled down, so we're good. Uh, so I got, this, I got this package here in the mail from uh, from a regular viewer here, uh, Alan Hoyt. So here we go. Oh, nice. This is awesome. Like this is high vis and a tank top. So now my, my arms won't end up like this with a giant line across them. Look at that. Sweet. So we will try this on, right? Ready? I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this on. Boy, does that feel 10 times better. Oh my gosh, the air that's flowing through. And you know what? It's got this like high neck, which is amazing. Like I only have one other shirt like that and it's a Tilson burn shirt, the black one. So this is perfect. Cause like I'm kind of self-conscious of like my acne on my chest. So like when I have a shirt that doesn't hang down too low, like this is, per this I'm gonna wear this a lot. Thank you so much, Alan. He also sent us a new hamster stick. I don't know if this is too big for the bike. It might be, it might just be too big. I, I think, nope, I see a spot on the bike. But stickers this big probably won't end up on the bike all that often just because like how big they are. And you know, you, you wanna be able to see all the different stickers. If you get too big on there, then like it just takes away. Yo, no way, there's another one. Oh, dude, dude, we got a gray one for the days that we don't wanna be seen. Like high vis and then boom, this, this is. You know what, thank you so much, Alan, you're awesome. Carrying on with the day, I think I've got a story that I kinda wanna tell today. Okay. I kinda got a story that I wanna tell today. Not quite a story, but maybe just how you can kinda get through some things like, uh, you, remember how, you remember how I made a sit down video where I talk kind of about haters and then I made a sit down video about breakups? I think this is going to be kind of a sit down video of how to deal with the people who make fun of you at school for having a YouTube channel. So this would be for the people who are just starting out a YouTube channel, the people who maybe want to start a YouTube channel but they're afraid of all the people making fun of them. Or maybe you mention the idea to some of your friends, you're like, hey, I kind of want to start vlogging and they said, uh, no, that's, that's stupid, don't do that, oh, you're so weird, don't, no, no, okay? This video is for you guys. I am physically so freaking tired right now, guys. Like, you know, I, I came home from school and that's kind of where that scene was. I was too warm. I came home from school. I had stopped at the P.O. box, got this shirt. And so after that, I went and biked with T. We ended up doing like 27 kilometers around my town here. So that was pretty interesting. That was actually like, it was a good ride, but I was super hungry by the end. Of it. And I was just like, Ugh. So we ended up stopping for Subway, we got Subway. And uh, I need to stop riding my bike until race day. So like my legs can heal and I need more sleep cause like I'm dead tired. So that's what I've done since I last filmed the last clip where I was talking about what I wanted to make my video of. So this video was going to be about how to deal with people who are being negative about you starting a YouTube channel. So if you're part of this next generation of people who want to be content creators, want to be YouTubers, it's like one of the highest desired fields or careers. I don't, I don't know the exact anything, but it's really desired as a career path. So if you want to do that, there's plenty of videos out there on how to do that, where to start. What I suggest to start is to actually start. Make a video, make another video, make more videos, blah, blah, blah. Just keep going and you'll figure it all out along the way. Like if you go back and you watch my first video, it's terrible. If you go back a year and a half before that and watch my very first video ever, then it's like, what were you even doing uploading a 17 second long video, Dylan? I learned how to upload a video. And beyond all that, like this isn't for if you want to start a YouTube channel, what do you do? No, there's other videos for that. I've talked about that. This, that's not what this is about. This is about how to deal with the haters and the people who are telling you that you shouldn't do it or that making YouTube videos is stupid or you're, you're stupid for making YouTube videos or don't even try, like that's dumb or I'm not gonna be your friend anymore if like you make YouTube videos, it's weird, people are gonna think you're dumb, people are gonna think that's what this video is for. People who are afraid of that or are dealing with that. So it's not necessarily easy to deal with, it's not necessarily easy to get past. It's like a lot of people end up quitting because of what other people say. 
I'm just going to do this video similar to the one I did the breakups video. And I'm going to start off by explaining my story and the way that I got through it. And hopefully that by the end of this, I can figure out what exactly I want to say. And maybe you guys have learned some new tactics. So for me, it was grade 10, the end of grade 10, the beginning of grade 11 that I started making YouTube videos. And when I first started, it was just DIY videos and people were like, oh, I guess that, that's decent. Yeah, all right, whatever. And then, you know, some people made fun of me. Yeah, you make YouTube videos. It's like, I'm just teaching people how to make. So that's how I got through that. Like I did DIY videos. So I literally, I was just like, yeah, but I'm teaching people something like people are learning from it. So it's all good. And then you just literally, you be that real with people. And then they're like, huh. Now, now they feel stupid for making fun of something that's actually good and they're not gonna do it again. If they do, hit them with the same stuff because eventually it's gonna get old because they're not getting a reaction out of you. Do not give them a reaction. That is what people feed off of is the negative reaction that you can give them. They will take that and then that's what fuels that fire of them being like that, of them making fun of people. So don't, don't feed into that. Just ignore it as much as you can, but when somebody straight up says something to you, just go ahead and be like, this is what I'm doing. Like, I mean, I, I enjoy doing what I'm doing. So if somebody says something like, you know, that's stupid, you do YouTube, that's gay, you know, like people hit me with that. They, that's exactly what they said. So, you know, I'd say, well, I mean, honestly, I'm doing what I love and it's starting to get to the point where it's paying me. I mean, it's like a viable career option. I'm gonna get to a point where I want to be from doing this. I mean, keep making fun of me, it's not hurting me. And, and that would, that would just, you got them back 10 times better than they got you by being real and not giving a crap. Be real and don't give a crap. There you go. So <clears throat> the people that are going to make fun of you aren't the people that you want around you. Now, a lot of my friends, real close friends, I would consider them friends. People that I worked with uh, at Home Hardware, they were like, Dylan, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you making next? Like they would joke around. Like, I don't know whether they were being mean or not, but they would joke around. So I would just take it lightly and like it wouldn't bug me. So like if your close friends are saying things like that, joking at you, joke back with them. Or if it really does bug you and they really are a close friend, really just tell them, hey, this is what I want to do. These are my goals. And I feel like it's not, I feel like you're not respecting that. And it's kind of, it, it hurts when you say these things. And if they're a real friend, they will respond to that. They will understand and they will stop. If they aren't and they keep doing it and it really does bug you and it really is hindering you, that's a decision that you have to make whether you want to keep that person around. And that's not a decision I can make for you. That's not a decision anyone can make for you. It's a decision you have to make for yourself. As for the people like in the hallways saying, oh, hey, uh, you like your YouTube videos. Like, you know, this goes back to like the haters video and that that's kind of what these people were about. If they're making fun of you and you don't know them, doesn't matter. But if they're like straight up like walking past you, like laughing at you saying, you know, your YouTube videos are stupid. If you have the guts and you have the confidence to just turn around and say, well, what's stupid about them or why don't you like them? I would like some feedback, you know, like be super real with people. And like, especially when they're being like, just that, that'll hit them. And they're like, uh, uh, either they will carry on with their bullshit and there you go, you, you literally just prove that that person means nothing and you shouldn't be feeling bad if they are making fun of you. Or they literally, they told you, hey, you know, like this is why it's stupid or you know, you said this or that, but, and then you're like, oh, you can learn from that. So if maybe they don't know how to give you proper advice, maybe it's best to ask them. Or if they're just being an asshole, there you go. You don't need to worry about that person at all. They, they don't matter, they're an asshole. I guess to try not to repeat different things that I've said in this video, I will just try to cut it cut it off soon because I think I've went over most of the things that I wanted to talk about. But really, there's gonna be people that are gonna hate on you and you gotta realize that. And Casey Neistat put it really well in one of his videos. He said, basically, you're here, people are going to make fun of you and you're here, people are gonna respect you and all along the way, they're still gonna make fun of you but I don't remember exactly how that went but it was it's in one of his videos. Watch all of his videos and then you'll find it. So honestly, if it's something that you want to do, there's going to be people that are going to tell you not to. There's going to be people that are telling you it's a stupid idea. There's going to be people that are going to hate you for doing it. I guess that's how friends change. Like, I'm not friends with the same people that I was before I started this. The people that were really negative about it and didn't want to be a part of it, they moved out of my life because this is exactly what I want to do. And if those people don't want to be a part of that or those people don't want me doing that and they're really negative about it, then I don't need that in my life. Things change, obviously, with anything. But as long as you can move past that, you will make it to where you want to be. And I guarantee you that. So figure out where it is you want to be. Just figure out where you want to be and then start going that way. And don't listen to the people telling you not to. Maybe listen to what the people are saying. If you're doing something dangerous or something that's going to get someone hurt and they're saying, hey, you know, maybe you should look at this, like somebody, somebody could probably get hurt from this, then listen, listen, but don't let it get to you if it's 
if it's just something you want to be a YouTuber, you want to create things, then don't let the negativity get to you. Don't let the haters stop you from making YouTube videos. If you're in high school right now, if you're in grade 10, make YouTube videos right now. I guarantee you that if you keep with it and you get really good, that before you're done high school, you will be that much further ahead. Whether or not you're famous, whether or not you've created something, whether or not you're making like tons of money from it, it whether or not you've traveled the world from it, I don't know where you exactly you're gonna be. It depends on how much work and time and effort you put into it, but I guarantee you that you will be further ahead. You will have another skill set. You will know how to manage your time. You will have met people. You will have seen who your real friends are. So if it's something that you're scared of doing because you're afraid of what people will think, then I think that you need to just stop and ask yourself, do you really care what other people think? Is it really gonna matter? in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years, is it gonna matter what that guy thinks or what that girl thinks or what that teacher said or where that teacher thinks you're gonna end up? Like, it, no, none of that matters. So just start now while you, while you can. Like, if you are a student in grade 10 at home, that is, like, I can't even just start now. Like, honestly, like, if you are, like, a student in, like, grade 10 and you wanna make YouTube videos, don't wait, do not wait. Like, that is the time while you're at home while you have nothing but time, while you don't really have any expenses, while you can just dedicate this time into something so much so, you know, before you end up having to pay for somewhere to live or buying all your food or, you know, paying for any other expenses that are all around there, do it while you can and somebody else is taking care of you because that is when you have the most time, the most energy, you know, are, are going to like, so like if you have a full-time job, it's obviously going to be harder than if you're going to school and you're just like, you got all this time to do it. What I'm saying is don't be afraid to start. Don't let anybody stop you from starting at all. And I like this, this video is like the other ones. It's so all over the place. Like, I don't even know if any of that made sense, but I hope that somebody else could pick that apart. That is literally just me spewing words out of my mouth for 15 minutes and 16 seconds straight and then cutting it all down so that it makes sense, more sense, at least it sticks together. So I really do hope that somebody picks something up from this video and I've impacted at least one person's life in a good way. So that's where I'm gonna end this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you guys already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, Give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.